Ada Oju just entered the WhatsApp group. She just entered. <laughs> This is how you enter back after you shamefully leave a WhatsApp group without any prior information. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, you're welcome. See guys, I know you guys are ready to <laughs> cut my neck, but... I don't know how to explain this. I don't know, but I just had to take a break. A lot has been happening behind the scene. If you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and here on YouTube, if you are subscribed to my channel, you will know I recently got engaged. Mm -hmm. I got engaged and I'm planning to make my wedding dress. Like, a lot of people have been trying to convince me not to make my wedding dress, but who am I? Who am I not to say yes to the calling of sewing in my life? So I'm going to make my wedding dress. But guys, I have a very, 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 very big problem. I can't seem to decide the wedding dress that I want. I know that I don't want something really busy or something too flashy or something too common. I don't want straight. I don't want fled. I don't want v-neck. I don't want circle neck. I don't even know what I want. So I want you guys to help me in this video to choose like a wedding gown. I have some that, you know, they've caught my attention. I just want you guys to vote. Let me know which one you think will look good on me. And let's just see. Probably I will make the one that carries the highest votes or I might finally come up with something. I don't know. You guys really, really need to help me in this video. So you want to find out the wedding dresses I love and I might want to make. Definitely keep watching. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you will get notified. And I know you're hearing cro cro cro. I don't know whether I have a zoo behind my house, but anytime I pick up my camera to film, that is when these hawks start crying so when you, if you keep hearing it in this video ignore okay so, ignore. the first so the first dress here is this very beautiful one is an asymmetric 360 is a 360 flare this is a very full asymmetric um wedding dress the back is a v-neck and from what i can see here the front doesn't look like a v-neck because I can somehow I perceive that the front is a little high that's why the back is this low I love this gown I really really love it but somehow I just feel like it's too simple even though I want something simple I, I don't want something very very dramatic but I don't know guys should I sew this gown should I not sew this gown I love the neckline I love the high low effect should I sew this down, guys? Just let me know in the comment section. Start voting right now. As you're watching this video, just start voting. Then the next gown is this very simple. I went for a lot of simple dresses because I don't really like this lace and rhinestones and sparkle sparkle everywhere. Oh, it is not Christmas party. That's what I feel. So I just really went for very, very simple gown. And the next one here that caught my heart is this. I don't know how to call this one. It is not a line. I think this is like a two-piece dress. So the down part is more like a 180 flared. Why the top part? You know this other one on top because this is a, a gown that has like this detachable flared. I think this is a detachable flared. So somehow I just feel like um, I love something like this. So let me know, guys. Should I make this gown? Should I make this gown? It has. It's something that I can wear and uh, I can take out the flare if I'm tired of the whole busy busy and I'll just have like a simple straight gown. Do you guys feel it's too simple for a wedding dress? Do you feel it's too simple? Let me know in the comment section. Should I sew this dress? It has like this princess dart. It has a princess dart, a round neck, more like a canoe neck because it's what I'm looking at here is not up to four inches. It's around um, three inches in width. No, yeah, about five inches in width and three inches in depth that's what this gown looks like and it has a bow tie you know the detachable flare has a bow tie and this is more like a 180 flare throughout an asymmetric 180 flare you can see that we have this high low effect going on in this gown so let me know guys should i sew this gown or is it just too simple for this occasion let me know let me know in the comment section now the next gown is this one guys i don't know if i'm just skeptical or i have I won't say I won't say hatred. I just have a thing for four corner necks. Is it four corner neck or square necks? Square neckline. Sometimes I see it on people. I love it, but when it comes to making it for myself, I don't, I'm just like, oh no 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 no, it's a bad idea. But the moment I saw this gown, I'm like, Adam, 
Are you sure you're not going to make this gown? See, guys, that's why I told see the one of the problems with being a tailor is you want to sew this style and this style and this style and this style all in one dress. So this um, um four corner square neckline very simply has like a brooch around the waistline. Is it a brooch or more like a patchwork of rhinestone with a 360 flared very very full gown it meets all my qualifications but i'm still confused i don't know if it's looking too simple or if it doesn't just hit the mark for me so let me know guys should i sew this one this is dress number yeah this is dress number three so let me know guys should i sew this one the first one was dress number one the second one is dress number two this is dress number three so let me know in the comment section whether i should sew this one if you have other pretty styles hit me hit me up on my dm on facebook or on instagram i stitch a dress i really want to see your wedding girl recommendations because i need your help guys we are, a we are a community i need your help help me out your seamstress is confused okay now the next one is this very full off shoulder neckline even though i've established at the beginning of this video that i don't want anything less stone bling bling but this gown stole my heart like looking at it is just so full it is ball you know sometimes i want a ball gown and other times i'm like hmm, a ball gown will be too busy so guys do i even know what i want i don't even know again so guys this is just an off shoulder with a little 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 sweet heart effects going down around the cleavage it's just very simple and easy it is a 360 flared more like an asymmetric stuff going on here but i perceive that the back is longer than the front and it's just it's just good to go so let me know guys should i sew this gown this is gown number four do you guys think i should sew this gown or i shouldn't sew this gown do you have other ideas just let me know which one hits the mark for you because I'm confused. Now, the next gown, guys, when I saw this gown, I'm like, yes, yes, Ada, you're going to sew this gown. But then I looked at the upper part, I'm like, ha, my Nigerian pastor is going to chase me out of the church. With this type of dress, they'll tell me I came from hell to seduce the pastor. So even though, like, the top part is very, very revealing and it's something I don't want to do, I don't like, if you guys have noticed on this channel, I don't like revealing my bust area, my cleavage, I don't like those stuff. People do it, but I don't really like it. I'm not comfortable with showing my chest area. So, guys, what really caught me for this gown is like from the waistline down, the whole shape, the whole synergy, everything is just snatched. Even though I'm looking at this dress and this girl doesn't have as much bum bum as I do, I know that by the time I sew my own, I'll just have this coke bottle shape going on. So, I want to sew this gown, but I want to sew a ball gown. You guys should just let me know. Should I sew this gown? Is it? I, if I think for the top part, I might just do something that will cover around the cleavage, and I won't make the, you know, that cleavage stuff very, very deep. So you guys just let me know. Should I sew this gown? I think this is gown number five. Should I sew it? Should I not sew it? Is it too revealing? Does it not fit? You know, sometimes you guys won't know what fits me. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but let me know, guys. Help me choose. Just help me choose. Should I sew this gown or should I not sew this gown? Now, the next one, I think for me, this gown, the moment I saw it, I'm like, yeah, the down part, no. The blouse, no. But that effect, this two effect going up, going on on the... On the neckline that went across the shoulder when i saw it i'm like i think i want to sew this gown so guys just look at this should i sew it i think i might have to do a combination of styles here i don't even know anymore but let me know this gown is just so it is simple it is elegant and i think for me one of the picture i had for my gowns i wanted some two effects i wanted um, i don't want um these lace and plenty plenty stone 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 i don't want it. i want it to be simple classy and fabulous now that is where i'm getting myself in trouble because i think for wedding gowns you have to go really really simple or really really classy <laughs> that just spit <laughs> saliva just flew out <laughs> Too much stuff is not good i think for wedding gown you have to go simple or very very fabulous i don't think there's like a middle ground i don't know maybe correct me so guys should i sew this gown i don't know if i should sew this gown anymore like, i like it let me know the, if you feel i should do sew this gown tell me another detail on the gown that can, i can just add to my dress do you understand i want to see your comments in the comment section help me out guys help me out i'm helpless help me <laughs> now the next one is uh this uh i think it has a spaghetti sleeve or a spike it has a strap a v-neck and it's just very simple it has an organza guys i love this gown 
I love it so much. I think the only problem is the spaghetti sleeve. And somehow, you know, for some dresses, sometimes if you take out the main focal point of the neckline, it doesn't really, really look so good. So I think this is gown number six or gown number seven. I don't know. Just let me know in the comment section, guys. Should I sew this gown? Let me know. Does this one look really, really good? I'm confused. Sincerely, I am sincerely confused. And I've been on this matter for a really long time. So that is why I brought it to you guys to help my life, help my soul, help my body, help the wedding, help the community. Thank you very much. Now, the next gown, I think when I sent this gown to my fiance, it was like, if you sew this gown, if you sew this gown, when I see you on the altar, I will deny you. Why is it that you like sewing simple, 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 simple things and it has come to your wedding, you want to sew something simple? Why are you doing that? So anyways, guys, even though he doesn't like this gown, I think I can still do some things here and there. Here and there, you know, to make it look shine bright like a diamond, you know, to make it not look very, very simple. So I love this gown. Tell me, guys, does it look too simple? Uh, is it too... Does it not cut the mark for you? Let me know. I love it sincerely. I really, really love this gown. Maybe because I'm a kind. Of, if you followed me for a really long time, even for my blog days, you guys will know when it comes to dressmaking, when it comes to making clothes, I really go for simplicity. Like simple, easy, straightforward. I don't have time for drama. Drama <laughs> on dresses, it tires me. So, guys, this is the gown. And let me know. Should I make it? Should I not make it? Uh, I really love it. I love the neckline. I love the sleeve. It has this cap sleeve it has a it has a princess that bust here here and it's just long it went way down we have like the normal fabric and you have like an organza over it it's just very simple and it looks it looks really really beautiful to me the funny thing about everything here is all the gowns look really really beautiful to me and somehow I just feel like I just feel like I want to swallow up them into one dress. So just let me know in the comment section which you think I should sew. Maybe I should pick from this one, pick the neckline, pick the bottom of this one, pick the bottom of that one. Just let me know which one I should sew. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that whenever I post a video, you will get notified. So it is official that I'm getting married. It means you guys will get a lot of wedding content from my dress to my robe to other things. So just keep your eyes peeled to this channel, okay? Make sure you hit the subscribe button, come back for another video, and I'll see you in my next. Bye!